that's its distinctive competency to be able to cater to its its uh, customers whims and fancies and so because that distinctive competency is in that area the world of Astoria strategy is based upon being the unique and differentiated hotel experience or hotel accommodation right it doesn't try to compete on price why because its skill set its unique attractiveness is not in the area of, of price reduction but motel 6 is it has distinctive competencies in terms of efficiency and turnarounds its ability to provide cheap accommodation to business travelers all right so therefore if knowing that that it's that is its distinctive competencies this distinctive competence motel 6 strategy is all about being the low cost provider why that's what we're good at our strategy as you see in figure 3.1 is shaped by our distinctive competence if you want to bring it into the realm of sports if LSU for example has a great quarterback this year one of the best quarterbacks that ever played and we just make it hypothetically here its strategy would probably be about passing the football why it is going to try to utilize that distinctive competency as much as it can why that's the area where it is likely to lead to superiority but if it has a great running back and a not so great quarterback and the running back is the most unique special thing that ever came out for example when USC had Reggie Bush they ran the football a lot why because Reggie Bush was a very very unique talent then its strategy is going to be shaped by whatever the firm has or whatever the firm does well you will see Walmart has a great distinctive competency in terms of logistics and inventory control and that logistics and inventory control creates value for the, co for the uh, customer through its ability to keep the price of items down knowing that knowing that that's where its distinctive competency is Walmart is not likely to try to have or try to create a strategy based upon being innovative or differentiated no it's likely to build a strategy based upon having or giving customers the lowest cost. So all I'm trying to show you there is that what we're good at determines how we're going to in fact try to create value. If our distinctive competency lies in terms of keeping costs down, we're likely to have a strategy that is based upon being a low cost provider. But if our distinctive competencies are in the area of increasing our innovation and customer orientation and quality, our strategy is likely to be one that creates value for the customer based upon differentiation. Okay? And those strategies we've argued before are the vehicles to the firm creating and sustaining a competitive advantage. Now, before we discuss the whole link between distinctive competencies and competitive advantage, we want to see what the ingredients to distinctive competencies are. And if you see on figure 3.1, it's argued to be resources and capabilities. So we're going to look at these. What are resources? Resources are tangible and intangible. They're essentially what the firm has. And the, the, the slide says they can be both tangible, so it can be things like land and labor and capital, but it can also be intang intangible, things like copyrights and patents, but it can also be like, uh, for example, management knowledge. Okay? The reason why many argue that Apple is so successful today is because of Steve Jobs' great managerial talent. And that managerial talent is argued to be a resource for Apple. Why is it considered a resource? Because it allows a company to create value for customers. How do we create value again? Value is created by either lowering the price of the item to the customer and or increasing the attractiveness of the item to the customer. So either I can make you want to buy this because hey, it's cheap or I can make you want to buy this because it's just highly differentiated. It's so spectacular. There are things about it that you really want. Okay? Gas, I will probably try to create value because of its price. Coach purses, cars or luxury cars, um, uh, customized furniture, 
I'm not necessarily trying to create value. We don't buy those things because of its price, because of it's a low price. We buy it because it's unique, because it's innovative, because it's quality, because it's customer responsiveness. And again, you see me mentioning these four building blocks, all right? Price, you're going to see, is based upon efficiency. When a firm has a distinctive competency in the area of efficiency, it is likely to base its strategy or promote a strategy based upon being a low cost provider. When the firm has competencies in the area of quality and innovation and customer responsiveness, it is likely to promote strategies that utilize those and that increase differentiation. All right. So resources are what, I, are what I have, and they have to be in order for, to, for them to create or be considered uh, ingredients to distinctive competencies. They have to be valuable, meaning that they ha either have to allow the firm to lower its price, or they have to allow the firm to increase its differentiation. They must have skills to take advantage of the resource, and I'll go, we'll go into detail because it, again, it's not just having resources, but it's having capabilities. And the last point, very very important, it has to be firm specific and difficult to imitate resources. It has to be valuable to create distinctive competencies. Resources, what we have in order for it to promote distinctive competencies have to be specific to the firm, meaning that they have to be unique or rare, can't have everybody having it, difficult to imitate and valuable. What makes it valuable? What makes it valuable is that, is that it promotes it something that or it leads to something that the customer wants. Let's look at a specific resources and ask ourselves whether or not that resource would qualify as an ingredient of distinctive competency. Let's look at Walmart. Okay, I'm going to use the resource of large, um, large uh, physical facilities. Okay, we're going to we're going to ask ourselves. Okay, this. Walmart's large supersized stores an actual resource that allows it to have a distinctive competency. Okay, is that a firm specific resource? One might argue yes, because not many competitors in the industry have that size or can create that size of store. So it is a rare resource to have those large locations. Okay, so one could argue it is firm specific. Is it difficult to imitate? Yes, it is. Many of you last week when you we were discussing the external environment said one of the potential barriers to entry for, uh, for, for people or firms wanting to come into this discount retail industry is the fact that it requires so much capital in order to compete to have an absolute cost advantage or to, uh, to uh, overcome the absolute cost advantage that the existing competitors already have. So yes, it is difficult to imitate. We can't just, you know, uh, competitors can't just go out and have the size of stores that Walmart has. You, you need to get locations and you need to get capital and all those things. And so it's not something that can easily be duplicated or replicated. So it is firm specific. It's something rare that the firm has. It's also something that is difficult to imitate. Is it valuable? What do we, how do we assess value? A value assess based upon its ability to create customer demand. How does large store sizes or store layouts help Walmart to create customer demand? Well, it creates a convenience factor, allowing Walmart to encapsulate within these large stores many different types of items that a customer would want to purchase. And so because of that convenience factor, it allows Walmart to create customer demand. But the other more important element to having large stores is that economy of scale that these large stores provide. The economies of scale that the large stores provide, meaning that because of these store sizes, Walmart can stock and can have lots of items in its store, but and because it has many items in its store, each item accounts for a small a portion of the fixed cost that Walmart pays for those size of uh, for those stores whether those be leases purchasing whatever because it can stock large amounts of items in those stores each item 
has to carry less of the fixed cost and therefore each item's mar sorry, average cost is reduced. So the size of the store allows Walmart to spread its fixed cost of, of, of labor or physical facilities as well as marketing and all those other fixed costs over a larger number of items and because of that, that because of those economies of scale and also we, we didn't talk about the purchasing in bulk and all that which it can do because it has the store size to accommodate the many different items because of those economies of scale Walmart is able to keep its prices down and being able to keep its prices down creates value because it creates customer demand so large spaces large physical locations for Walmart is a resource that is likely to lead to a distinctive competency why it's firm specific it is rare it's not many firms have those stores or can have those stores it's not something that can be easily imitated a store uh, a competitor can't say oh you know Fred's can't say let's become Walmart tomorrow no it's not that easy to build those type uh, or to have those types of stores built quickly and three it is valuable because it contributes to lowering the price of the items which in turn contributes to increasing customer demand so those stores are a great resource but you will see beyond resources a firm has to also have these things called capabilities if resources are what the firm has then capabilities are what the firm does with what it has resources are what the firm has capabilities are what the firm does with what it has you again using a sports analogy again you you, you all probably know uh, or may not know this but I'm from Trinidad and in Trinidad we play a lot of soccer soccer is more important to us than any other sport one can argue and uh, you know obviously growing up playing soccer we, we, we are entranced we were entranced with the World Cup and the World Cup just occurred uh, in South Africa a couple of months ago and uh, in every World Cup the, the favorite tends to be or one of the favorite tends to be Brazil and the reason why Brazil is always looked at as a favorite is because they have so many great resources they have so many skilled players that are unique all right there aren't that many people out there that can play soccer as well as the players that Brazil have they're difficult to imitate you just can't learn the skills these people will sometimes you think they were born with the skills but they're not something that can be easily taught or, or trained uh, into a player and their ability to play well is something that can contribute to success so they are uh, uh, considered to be important resources right these players individual players they always have the stars Brazil has the great stars number of stars so every, every player that plays for them seems to be a star in their own you know club team but Brazil didn't win the World Cup last uh, July and the reason one can argue they didn't is because they had so although they had so many stars so many individual resources their inability to combine and to coordinate those resources effectively is what led to their actual demise in fact the team that won the team that won Spain while they had some valuable resources some of their players were very good individually those players may, were, were not that good relative to, to Brazil Brazil's individual players you know player for player was better than Spain's but Spain had the best or utilized its resources most effectively and efficiently the ability to coordinate and to combine your resources is what we con consider to be capabilities capabilities and capabilities are really what leads or allows a firm to separate itself from the competition yes it is important to have great valuable resources but just having valuable resources is not enough the firm has to have the ability to coordinate to put those resources to excuse me together in order to make it a spectacular concoction that is going to surpass the competition you can look at it this way um, you want to